Let's see how fast we can set up a multi-vendor marketplace within WordPress. First go to wp.discount slash dokon and press enter. Then we are at the pioneer of multi-vendor marketplace solutions. If you scroll down here, we can start with the WordPress plugin. Click on it. Well, this is what they promise. Well, we can launch it in a minute. No code all in solution. We can scale it with success and earn commissions from each sales. That sounds good. Let's go press on get started now. That's pretty interesting. They have an annual license, but also a lifetime license. Well, I really like the lifetime license ID and there's a 40% discount running right now. All right, let's go to always free press on download. And then we got the plugin. All right, time to log into our WordPress dashboard. If you're still logging in using WP admin, no, mm, no, that's no. not a very safe way. So please watch my tutorial about WordPress security because you don't want to get hacked. This is a completely new WordPress website. So I go to plugins, add new plugin, upload plugin, go and select the plugin we've just downloaded and press install now. Activate plugin. All right, welcome, let's go. It shouldn't take longer than three minutes. All right, let's go. On this setup, we don't have to change anything except the URL. If you want to change the URL, this text. So in our case, it's store now and then the seller name. You can change it over here, but you can always change it afterwards. The shipping fee, product tax, shipping tax, all these things, who needs to pay it? Me as the website owner or the vendor itself. Of course, we're gonna let the vendor pay for all these things and then we press continue. If you want new registered vendors to immediately start selling, put this on on and they can start immediately. Maybe you want to review them or change them, then you have to put it on off. Then we can set the commission type in percentage or flat rate and how much will 10%, let's do this. And then the order status change, put this on on so your vendors can actually complete those orders. Press continue. How do you want your vendors to get paid? using PayPal and also using bank transfer or not. You can change that. The withdrawal limit, well, I'm gonna put this on 100 so then they can ask for withdrawal. Completed processing, great, press continue. All right, what do we need for the marketplaces? The WooCommerce conversion tracker, sounds really great. The WeMail, mm, I don't want WeMail on my website. And SMS notifications, I also don't like that one. Press continue. And then our marketplace is ready. That was extremely fast. Let's visit the token dashboard. And then we are at our dashboard. We can first see these news items. All right, let's close this one. And then this is the dashboard. Here we can see what the vendors are doing in, in terms of sales, orders, and commissions. So really clean, really great. I like this layout, it's very clean. All right, now this looks pretty good, but when I go to my website, this is still my standard theme. So let's get our theme from Doken itself. We go back to Doken and in here are themes. Click on that one. And then we can see we have the Dokeni theme, multi vendor Marketplace. Well, press on details. And then we're gonna press on download now. And then we go into here to appearance, themes. And we're going to add new theme. Click on it. And then upload our theme we've just downloaded. Dokani develop and press install now. Activate. Great, now it's active. If I now visit my website, this looks way more than a marketplace. Really great. Now, of course, we need to style and tweak this entire website. There are many tutorials about that, so I'm not going to show you that. But what I am going to show you are the functionalities of Doken. Go back to WordPress and in here we can go to the settings of Doken. In here, there's a lot of settings which we can change. We have the general options like your logo and the admin area access. Again, the URL, the logos, the messages, the welcome wizard. We have a lot of settings going on in here, which are really great. We have selling options. This looks very nice and very clean. I really like this entire interface. Withdraw, paid settings, appearance, privacy policy. All these things are inside of this one and that is very nice. Let's go to the vendors over here. There are no vendors at all except for me of course. Let's try to become a new vendor on our marketplace. So before anyone can register on your website you need to first go to settings and then to general and then we need to put on here the membership anyone can register and the new user default role should be a vendor. 
There we go. Scroll down and press Save Changes. We go to our website and we're going to open it in a new private window so we are not logged in. Then on my website, I can go over here to Login or Register. Here we go. Now we can register and we can register as a customer or a vendor. Let's go with a vendor. Let's fill it all in. And my shop name will be Rocket Cars. And the URL. Oh, this is great. And add in my phone number and press register. It's that easy. And then we see this. Welcome to the marketplace. So as a vendor, this is what we see. Let's go. Let's enter in all our information here. And then we press continue. Enter our payment setup. Very important. And then our store is ready. Well, as a vendor, this is our dashboard right now. And this looks really clean. As you can see, as a vendor, there is actually no WordPress interface on my login screen. And I really like that because they don't have to know that we are working with WordPress. And of course, when you scroll down, you still need to design this entire backend also for your vendors as the widgets over here. But this looks really great. Let's go to products and we're going to sell an awesome product. Let's add a new product, see how fast this is. Title of our car will be the Red Rocket. Red Rocket Rooster. And upload the product image, drop our file. Here we go, upload it. Beautiful. And it's a downloadable product? No, of course not. And this is actually $55,000 only. So that's really cheap. Let us add in a short description and then some long description. Here we go, I'll just paste it in some uh, table from some kind of website. And it's in stock. Uh, we only want to have solved two of them and we do allow back orders all right save the product let's see how this goes success the product has added been successfully okay and it's actually in here what do i see is index.php yeah because i still need to go with permalinks and save them as the post name so let's quickly switch to the wordpress admin and as an admin i go to permalinks in here i'm going to use the post name and i'm going to press save changes there we are then in here, I'm, as a vendor, I'm going to refresh this. And then we can see, ah, this is better. There we have my website, slash product, slash Red Rocket Rooster. And then when we now open this up in a new tab, this is now our vendor, how it looks. We have the short category over here, the price. That's a cheap one. <laughs> and then the description, long description over here. This really looks great. As this is your own product, the add to cart button has been removed. So we just have to tween and tune the layout. All right, then we can see that this product is pending review. So let's see further how it works for vendors. You go to orders. No orders, of course. We cannot withdraw anything because we haven't paid anything. But this looks all pretty nice. We have the store. They can also upload a banner and a profile picture. Uh, that's really great. And also the payment in here. We can change that at the payment method. Not yet because I didn't change it as a admin. And then we can visit our store, edit our account or log out. As a vendor, this is actually pretty easy. As a vendor, it looks really great. And this is just the free version of Doken. So this looks pretty nice. And if I now go to my Doken dashboard, I can see there's one vendor and one product. And if you want to approve the products, go to products, all products. And we can see that the red rocket ruser is still pending. So I as an admin have to approve this. I press on edit and then I can press on publish over here or if you want to approve it, just press on quick edit and change this pending review to published update. It's the quickest way to do this. I can imagine if your marketplace grows, you don't want to do this with every vendor. How do you can change that? Well, you always get an email when a new vendor registers. If you know the guy or if you know the store, you can use this button to edit the vendor access. And then you are in your website at the users, all users. And here you can see all your vendors. There's also an option here called publish products directly. Bypass pending published products directly. If you press update user, now every product they will add will be immediately published. All right, now our first store and our first product has been published. And as the vendor now goes to his products, you can see that this product is online and they can press on view. And if I am completely locked out as a vendor and I can see the marketplace, and buy the Red Rocket Rooster, add it to my cart, and then I can just buy it. Now this system looks really promising, but I don't know honestly if you guys are waiting for a really extensive in-depth tutorial about Dokkan. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to check out this video and I'll show you exactly which SEO plugin you will need on your website.